Hello everyone, this is Equestron, and I am here to try out a little tier list. I've seen some of these around, and I decided to sort of give this one a shot. And what better way to start off with is doing a tier list on My Little Pony French Fizz Magic. It's been a while since I've touched upon this series, um, and hopefully my memory is good to properly rank these characters. Uh, I did take a look at how many there are, and... I believe, I believe, you could correct me if I'm wrong if you want to pause this video and count them all up yourself, but I believe there's 156 characters, so we have a lot to cover. So, we will start with, uh, Aoi Zoro, I believe. He's the bad guy from the Daring Do episodes. So, we will start with him, and he is going in okay, because I, I thought he was funny. He did the curse you, Daring Do! You know, that, that gets a chuckle out of me. Uh, I think Aloe, Aloe, and Lotus Blossom. They are, I believe they're going. They're going to go in good. Uh, you know, I think, I think some of some of these picks will just, it will just go down to cuteness factor, and and so I think they are cute. Uh, and then we have Amethyst. Uh, she was help leading. She was helping to lead the town when there was that bugbear attack in the slice of life episode. So she's going to be good. Apple Bloom. I think Apple Bloom is a great pony. I think of the uh, Cutie Mark Crusader, she is at the top. I think she's the best one. I think she's she's a very underrated uh, Apple family member and also a very underrated Cutie Mark Crusader. I think if people gravitate more towards. Uh, Sweetie Belle, which I'm sure is on this list. I believe she. I'm sure she's on this list. Uh, it would be weird if she wasn't. But and some people gravitate towards Scootaloo as well. Uh, but I, I, I like Apple Bloom the best. Uh, Apple Jack, however, is outstanding. <laughs> I think she is the best of the main six ponies. I think she has, she has a couple of not not so great episodes. Uh, but I think in terms of both um, aesthetics and voice and songs. And attitude, I, th I think she's just the best. Uh, now we have a couple of old ponies. I do remember them. They were from the Apple Family Reunion episode. It's like my memory kind of fails on these two. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure they had these amazing names. So I'm just gonna list them as okay, but they are better than Aoi Uh Now Autumn Blaze, Autumn Blaze, she is gonna go next to Applejack in terms of outstanding because Autumn Blaze is Autumn Blaze, and you know the rest. Now Bab Seed. She is going to be great. It was very unfortunate that the series never really came back to her. I think I, I think that goes for Diamond Tiara too, and we'll, we'll get to her. Uh, Big Mac. He is going to be great. Not quite as good as Applejack, but he is definitely a very good Apple family member. I did really, in, I do really enjoy his character. I did really enjoy his voice. I liked it when he had that speech in the the episode where he dressed up as a mayor. That was really like the episode itself was really funny. But I think the moral and the performance was really good. It was really touching. Uh, these are Rainbow Dash's parents. Um, I forget what this guy's name is. Um, I'm gonna go by DWK rules and call him Bro Hot Hoof. But I do remember Windy Whistles and Windy Whistles. I do love so she just by having windy whistles in the picture it's going to be outstanding uh windy whistles is the best uh, dash member <laughs> dash family member and uh and we'll get to rainbow dash when we get to her uh then we have these the bully ponies they are gonna go in hate i do not like them uh brayburn brayburn he, he was okay uh, i'm gonna put him at the top of the okay list uh he was just kind of there but i did like his personality uh now we have applejack's parents which is um, Applejack's parents are Applejack's parents. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about them than to put them in outstanding. So now we have Bulk Biceps. I'm going to put him in great. He was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was like one of those uh, adorable simpletons. Capper, Capper is good. Uh, I think he's like a little bit better than Amethyst. Not as good as Aloe and Lotus Flower. Uh, now we have uh, Captain Solano from the My Little Pony movie. Uh, she's gonna be next to Capper, but uh, she was voiced by Zoe Saldana. She did a great job voicing the character. I did like the song. Now we got Princess Celestia. Now, people may be surprised or not surprised, but Princess Celestia is pretty high up on the list. Um, I consider her to be the best princess on the show, uh, even though she wasn't 
the most useful but I think in terms of character design, in terms of her interactions with Luna, and, ter and by virtue of making amazing looking pancakes, uh, she is going to stay in outstanding. Uh, so now we have Brain. <laughs> He's voiced by Maurice, Maurice LaMarche, so I'm calling him Brain. Principal Nase. I think he's just okay. I, I, um, he's like high tier okay. Uh, the thing is that as much as I like Marlisa Marsh, the character itself was not great. And I did like DWK's interpretation of the character more. And I wish I knew whatever happened to that guy, to, to DWK. But his interpretation of Principal Nase is hilarious. <laughs> and if you guys, if you ever want to know what that is, like you, where, where Principal Nase is like secretly like a deviant <laughs> and just into a lot of weird stuff, uh, that that's uh, like I would recommend checking out DWK's videos on um, the season eight finale. Cheerily, best teacher, um, cheese sandwich. He gets good just by virtue of being voiced by Weird Al. I think he's a little bit. He's He's, he's like here. Cherry Jubilee. I did like her. Um, she was only in one episode, but you know, I think in terms of attitude, uh, personality, and character design, you know, she was cute. Uh, Quibble Pants' girlfriend. Uh, mayor friend. Um, I think I, I liked the episode she was in. I did like the episode she, she was in. Like, I don't know, like, people or fans. I don't think they really liked the episode itself, but I did. I think by knowing uh, that it had a bit of a personal connection to Patton Oswalt's life, that episode was, like kind of struck a chord with me. But in terms of the actual character itself, yeah, she was fine. She was just like the understanding mom character. So now we're going to go to uh, Coco Pomel. Great. I mean, there's really nothing more to say. I mean, like a little kind of here. So now we got uh, Countess Kodochura, Lady Rara, also known as... Adele. <laughs> uh, I always joked about how in this episode we went, we had a character that was started off as Lady Gaga and then transformed into Adele by the end of it. It was fun, uh, but I did like her character. Uh, I'm gonna put her in outstanding. Now, Cozy Glow. Cozy Glow. This is gonna surprise you guys, but I am gonna put her in great uh, because I didn't. I wasn't a fan of her in season eight. It was, she was always one of those characters where you knew something was up with her when she became crazy it was like kind of like all right but i think when season nine came around her chemistry with tyric and chrysalis really improved upon what didn't work about her in season eight so now we got cranky doodle he is good and now we got daring do i do like daring do daring do here derby obviously hey no <laughs> definitely not she is going in best pony uh, you all know why she is Best Pony, and I made a whole video about why she is Best Pony, even though some of it is just fan fiction dri drivel. But I think in terms of both character design, personality, voice, she is just the best, and she will always be the best. And if she shows up in Generation Five, she will be the best in that one too. Uh, the Diamond Dogs—they made me laugh, so okay, uh, a little bit better. Uh, there we go. Uh, Diamond Tiara. Now. I really want to put her in outstanding, but for much of the series, I didn't like her, so she would be she would be like an okay or bad. But because of Crusaders of Lost Mark, she really came into her own. Uh, she became nicer, but also because that character arc seemed to be finished, the writers didn't really know what else to do with her because she didn't talk. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put her in good, like high tier good. I wish there was more of this character, kind of like showcase her being friends with the Kimark Crusaders, maybe having an episode with them, getting into their adventures and really solidifying her development. Discord, uh, he has good moments, he had his bad moments. Like he wasn't, I did like his design, I did like his interactions with Fluttershy, but Fluttershy, I think that though that is kind of what saves his character, but uh, because so he's not bad. I think he's just high tier okay. So now we have Vinyl Scratch. Great. A little bit higher. Great. Uh, this Doctor Pony. Think it was a think it was a guy, but I remember him being kind of unhelpful. Uh, so bad. Uh, Cavaleron. Uh, he redeemed himself, so he was just okay. And also, like Aizolo, he he did have 
you know, like little comedic moments. And I did like how in his redemption episode, he was actually really funny. Dr. Hooves. Good. Uh, Fancy Pants. Now, I did say he was the coolest male character in the show, uh, but that was before season nine kind of, uh, I'm not going to say ruined him. It was really weird how in his introductory episode, he was very cool and understanding and didn't really act like a very snooty guy. Then in season nine, he just he became that. And so that kind of put me off, which was weird. Um, but I think just by, if it, we're just going to judge by the one episode, I would put him as great. But I think it was because of the second episode. He, I'm just going to put him as good. Uh, Justin Bieber pony. I'm putting over here. Um, Filthy Rich. Uh, he's okay. Um, he seems to. He seemed to be. He seemed, even though he's rich and and, uh, and his name has Filthy in it, uh, he seems like he could be a cool guy. Like kind of have a beer with. <laughs> um, I, th I think this is a. No, no, no. This is this is um, Starlight's dad. That's who that is. Uh, I liked him. I thought I thought he was like I thought he was like a bad guy pony, but no, he was he was uh, he Starlight's dad, and you know, I did like the overprotective helicopter parent thing going on with him. So then we have uh, this guy, the uh, one of the pillars. Um, I was just okay. Uh, high, like high like high tier, okay. Oh, Floor de Lee, hi Floor. So hi Floor gets an outstanding. Uh, the Flim Flam Brothers, hate never liked them. They should go away. Flurry Heart. Uh, this may surprise you, but I'm going to put Flurry Heart in great. Uh, a little bit higher than that. Her, I thought she was adorable. Uh, Fluttershy. Uh, for the longest time, Fluttershy was my favorite character on the show, but then Applejack came along, and then, you know, Derpy started to put her rise to fame. And so I'm going to put her in outstanding. Gabby. Uh, Gabby is fine. Um, actually, she's more than fine. She is good. Like low tier good. Uh, like a little bit better than Dr. Hooves and um, Starlight's dad. Uh, actually, uh, a little bit higher than that. Uh, uh, there you go. Gallus, I believe this is. Uh, he is also good. Gargle. <laughs> no, gar <laughs> it's Garble. Oh, Garble, I believe. Uh, bad. Gilda made Flourish I Cry, so hate. I don't care if she got redeemed. Hate. Uh, Elvis Pony. Uh, I think he was a bad guy. I believe. Uh, I think. I think. I think he was. I think he was like the a hotel manager that was like conning people. So bad guy. Hate. This one. She owned all the all the cats, so she was funny. I forget her name, but good. Uh, this Craggly Griffin. I think he yelled at Gallus a lot or something. Um, he was just okay. William Shatner just by virtue of being William Shatner, is great. Uh, Granny Smith is also great. It was very sad that she died off screen in the series finale. Uh, Grubber. Uh, hmm. I am going to put him in bad. Uh, this guy, uh, one of those, another snooty pony. Uh, he did come around in the end, uh, but I think I'm really gonna... Nah, uh, I think I'm just gonna rate him as okay. Uh, Scootaloo's ants. Uh, they're only in, in one episode, but they were very friendly. And uh, so, just by virtue of that, I'm going to put them there. Pinkie Pie's parents. Um, they seemed alright. Seemed alright. Actually, they're more than alright. Um, probably like high tier. Okay. Better than that guy. Iron Will. Also, okay. I did like his, his sort of, you know, super macho personality, but not as much as I liked... Um, Bulk biceps his personality, so yeah, I think he's just he's okay. Donut Joe, by virtue of loving donuts and owning a donut shop, he gets good. King Sombra did not like him, <laughs> hated him actually. Um, like he had more of a personality in season nine, but he got taken out pretty quickly. Uh, let's see, Lightning Dust hated, never got redeemed, and so never cared for her. Limestone Pie. Uh, great. I did like her. Strongheart? I believe her, I believe her, her, the name is. Um, I didn't like the episode. The, 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 um, Over a Barrel. There we go, that's what it is. I didn't really like the episode she was in. 
and I, and so I think just by virtue I just okay now Tyrik um I'm actually gonna put him I'm actually gonna put him in uh, like high good uh like uh, I, I wasn't actually you know what um, low great uh but he was a very he was a threatening antagonist in his first appearance and but uh, but I think what really elevated from from what really elevated him for me, especially like like with Cozy Glow, what really elevated him, she, was his chemistry with Cozy Glow and Crystalis. I mean, because of that, Luster Dawn, um, just okay. Like, she was just kind of like a stepping stone for the finale. Um, if Generation Five was about her and stuff, like, uh, and and that was awesome. She would probably be much higher, but since Generation 5 has nothing to do with her, I'm gonna have to assume that Twilight made a terrible decision. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, but yeah, she's just okay. Lyra and Bonbon bon are, of course, gonna be in the outstanding area. Um, that's also another one of the pillars. Um, I'm gonna put her, put her right here. She was fine. Uh, this, the vet pony. Uh, she put up with a lot. Of, I think she's she put up with a lot of crap. So I'm gonna put her in good, <laughs> just for just for just for that. Um, marble pie. Uh, she's gonna be in great. Uh, not there. We go. A little, a little bit better than rhinestone. Actually, she's gonna she's a little bit higher. Uh, I didn't really appreciate that. She didn't really get much of a conclusion in the series. Like, obviously, she had a thing for Big Mac. And then Big Mac ended up with Sugar Bell, and then we had that scene in the Best Gift Ever uh, special where she was all sad, and I, I thought that was kind of... I didn't really like that. That wasn't a really good send-off to that potential ship. But I think I think in terms of just the overall character and personality, I think she's great. Uh, Matilda. Uh, she's gonna go next to Cranky Doodle, which unfortunately he's over here. Uh, yeah, well, uh, they'll get next to each other eventually. Oh, Maud. Maud goes here. Maud is God. Uh, I think the deadpan personality really works for the character. Uh, and it's also just super adorable. Mayor Mayor. Um, she's going to be uh, good, actually. Uh, I, did, I did like her character. Uh, the mean changeling uh, who turns good at the end. Um, I, I, he was okay. He was fine. Uh, the theater ponies and the horseplay episode, they didn't really help all that much, so bad. Minuet, um, she's, she's fine. Um, where'd she go? There we go. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Mist Mane. Uh, I think she belongs with the other pillars. Good. Uh, okay. Moon Dancer. Uh, she's gonna go on great. I did like the Moon Dancer. I liked, I liked her, her character arc. Um, it was kind of unfortunate that she didn't really show up all that much after that initial episode. She, she, she did make background appearances. I think she showed up again at one other point, but you know, overall, overall, good character, great character. Uh, Fluttershy's parents, uh, yeah, they were good. They weren't particularly like super developed. Uh, I'll put them, put them right here just because of that. But I think uh, they were friendly. Mr. And Mrs. Cake. I think by virtue of having Mrs. Cake in the picture, they are great. Uh, Miss Harshwinny. Now this will surprise some of you, but she is going into the outstanding pile. <laughs> I did think like the super serious professionalism pony uh, was very funny uh, and made made me made me chuckle. And so every time it was, she was like one of those characters where every time she showed up, I smiled. So we're gonna keep her in outstanding and we're gonna have to deal with it this was the pony that people that uh, that was mistaken for miss harsh winnie um was it chickadee or something like that somewhere around there but she was friendly i did i did like her she was cute so we could put her in good uh sheldon pony mudbriar is his name i did like mudbriar he was a character that you thought was kind of not a great person but you know he always had mod's best interests at heart so good he's a good guy nightmare moon just by virtue, just by the character design, great. Nurse Redheart, she also put up with a lot of, with a lot of stuff, uh, and so she's ranked at the same as the um, vet pony. Actually, a little bit better than the vet pony. Actually, like 
kind of high up there. I did like the character design. Ocellus? I liked Ocellus. I think she went, she was one of the better uh, Student 6 characters, so I liked her better than Gallus. Uh, Octavia uh, goes right next to uh, Vinyl Scratch. Uh, photo Finish. Uh, photo Finish I really liked. As I liked the magics. I liked the personality. I did like the way she was dressed. It was fun. Pinkie Pie. Um, you know what? She's going to be in Outstanding. Uh, I always really liked Pinkie Pie. I did like her energy. I did like that and, and just just the overall the vibe she she always put brought out in the episodes that she was in. Even the episodes that she was the focus on was were really well done. Um uh, Pipsqueak, try Pipsqueak. Okay. Uh the Yak King guy. Did he even have a name or was it just Yak King? I'm sure it was something, but uh, it's just gonna be okay. Uh Princess Cadence is great. I did really enjoy Princess Cadence. Uh, probably like high tier great. Uh Princess Ember or now Dragon Lord Ember. She is outstanding because she is the best dragon. Nightmare Moon. No, not my Nightmare Moon. Princess Luna. Um I wanna say outstanding, but uh, I think I'm gonna go with my gut here and say she's great. Probably like the best of the great. <laughs> like she did have the best backstory compared to Princess Celestia, but I think I think like overall she's she's just great. She, but she also threw away Celestia's pancakes, so I hate. <laughs> Great. Uh, Princess Skystar. Um, also a really fun addition to, to the cast. Uh, probably like better than Captain Solano, but not as good as Capper. Queen Chrysalis. I really want to put her here, but I think Best Pony. Uh, I think I'm going to put her in outstanding because you, you all know. How I feel about Queen Chrysalis. She was the best villain on the show. And kind of wish she got a redemption arc. I don't know if the comics have gotten into her character yet. Or if they're going to get into it at all. But I just really liked her character design. The, uh, the design, the voice, the personality. Uh, was so like well done. That yeah, I have no choice but to stand. Uh, Queen Novo. Uh, she, was, she was okay. I did like I did like like the char the character, but mm, she is, I, I I think Sky Star was a much better character. Uh, Quibble Pants. Also, every uh, nitpicking fanboy on the internet rolled up into a pony. Uh, he's actually good. Actually, he's he's better than um, his girlfriend or mare friend. Uh, but I did like his 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 overall arc. Like he was you know, start off as a very picky pony and. Uh, but then, like, and then his his relationship with with with, uh, with her and her daughter, I think that was, I think that's what kind of saves his character overall. Now, Rainbow Dash. Oh boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one. He's in bad. <laughs> I uh I never really liked her. Uh, I was like, I'm sorry to say that, but I I just never really took to her character. I mean, she had her her good moments. She had like some really some good episodes, but she very she felt very one note. Like she never really changed all that much. She was just kind of the same throughout. I mean, she she did become a Wonderbolt. She did become Captain of the Wonderbolts. But I think that personality just it was always consistent and not in a very good way. Like I kind of wish that there was a little bit more where she didn't become as competitive competitive as the series went on, but. Eh, it just kind of, just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't like Fluttershy who, who was still shy but still kind of grew a little bit. And like, no, I think that was, that was fine. But this one, eh, it just, I just wasn't a, wasn't a, a, a big fan of her. Now, Rarity, uh, goes in the outstanding pile for reasons because she is Rarity. Uh, now we have Thor Pony. Uh, I did like him. I did think it was kind of dark that uh, the episode he was in sort of was a kid's version of suicide because he wanted to turn into stone, but he had to talk. He had to be talked out of it by Yona. That uh, was kind of a, a weird. It was, it was it was a very odd episode, but I think it was also very a very good episode at the same time, just because just because of the Yona factor. And we'll get to Yona soon. I think yeah, she's over here. It's gonna be a while. Random guard pony. He's a random guard pony. 
Uh, I think this is Thunderhoof's brother. Uh, he's just okay. Uh, then we have um, Sandbar. Sandbar, I did like Sandbar, so he's good. Then we have Sapphire Shores, just okay. She only showed up like once, I believe, maybe twice, but wasn't all that. Wasn't all that. Sassy Saddles. I think people have made jokes about her, but I did like Sassy Saddles. She was sassy, and she had saddles. <laughs> you could put that as a quote. Uh, Scootaloo. I did like Scootaloo. I did like uh, kind of like the her arc, which is kind of learning, uh, just you know, learning to have shorter wings and just and uh, but also in the power of friendship and all that stuff. You know, it's good stuff. Uh, Steven Magnet never liked him. He was annoying. Nothing really, actually, actually not nothing really like, against him. It just I just, I just really didn't really jive with the character. Uh, this is just a, a guy with a mustache. Uh, he, he's, he's definitely not burnt oak. Uh, he looks kind of cool, so I'm just going to put him in okay. Shining Armor. Uh, I did like Shining Armor. He's good. Uh, he's great. I'm going to put him next to Cadence because they're husband and wife. Uh, this uh, Rough Pony. Eh. Uh, Silver Spoon. I did like Silver Spoon. I'm going to put her in good. This is Silver String, I believe. So, uh, I'm gonna put her here next to Sandbar. Where are the others? Oh, yeah, there's Gallus and those Uh, then there's this other guy. He looks kind of cool. So, there you go. Uh, and then we got Spikes. Well, not, it's not really his dad, just some guy trying to play the part of his dad, I believe. I, th I think, I think so, but he was a terrible character, so, so hate. Smolder. Smolder is great, so she's gonna be great. Uh, Snails. Uh, yeah, he was fine. Okay. Uh, Rainbow Dash. Uh, no, no. Scootaloo's parents. Bad. Bad. They, uh, they're not good parents. They just leave their leave their daughter behind and come back every year or so. So it's, it's not that's not that's not great. That's not nice. Uh, Snips. They're a little bit better than snails. Uh, Soren, also also an okay guy. Somnambula, uh, I know people really like Somnambula. I think if, I think by character design alone, she's like great. Uh, but uh, she never really she never really seemed all that interesting aside from that. I'm just gonna put her in like low good. Sia Pony. Uh, I mean, she's voiced by Sia, so I'm just gonna call her Sia Pony. I like the design, I like the song, uh, so I'm gonna say great. I mean, I know Sia herself isn't really well regarded right now, but I think just putting all that aside uh, and just by going by the character itself, I'm gonna put her in as great. Spike, now we got Spike. Put him as good, he's a good guy. Spitfire. Also a good character. I did do like husky, husky voice. Spoiled Rich. Uh, put her in bad. Uh, Rose Luck and the, the fainting rose flower ponies. Uh, just because their scene made me laugh, they're good. Starlight. Uh, I'm gonna put her in outstanding. Uh, she uh, wasn't a huge fan of Starlight in the first, in season four. And season five, her, her um, Redemption, I suppose, was kind of, um, I wouldn't want to, I don't want to say glossed over, but it's very rushed. But I think everything after that was excellent. Uh, almost, almost like, per almost perfect, actually. Uh, and so I, I did like the, the direction her character ultimately took. So yeah, outstanding. Uh, these fashion ponies. Um, don't know their names, but, you know, the goth, goth and hipster, and then this guy, well, they were fine. I didn't like the episode itself, but I think in terms of character design, they're good. Uh, Star Swirl, you know, for all the hype he had, he's kind of a jerk. So, put him in there. Um, Stellar Flare, uh, Sunburst's mom. Um, put her uh, here. I'm not going to say why. I'm just going to put her there. You're just going to deal with it. <laughs> Stygian, I think that was his name, unless that was that was like the, the, the villain name that he had. And he was he was just around 
for an episode and didn't really do anything all that interesting after that. So, eh, bad. Sugar Bell. Sugar Bell? Sugar Bell. Not Sweetie Bell. Sugar Bell. It's an interesting that we have Sweetie Bell and Sugar Bell. Interesting. But I think I did really like the episode she was in. I did like, I did think the, the, the relationship with Big Mac was really adorable. So, put her next to Big Mac. Uh, Sunset. Sunset is also outstanding. She's just kind of a typical bad guy, gets reformed, but then everything from Rainbow Rocks onwards has been really, really, really excellent. <laughs> Suri, hate, didn't like her. Actually, she's, like, yeah, like, like I hate her, but not, I don't hate her as much as these, these, these guys. Uh, this guy, I do hate even less, even more. Uh, Sweetie Belle goes next to the other ones. I think I think uh, I think if I were to rank, it would be Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, Scooter Loom. Uh, Tempest Shadow, Emily Blunt, automatically means outstanding. I don't know who this guy is. I think he was the, the one that wanted to be a tap dancer. Eh, he was fine. Okay. Uh, I think this is Silver Stream's brother. Also okay. Uh, the Storm King. Um, hmm. I think the performance is really good. So, like, Lee Schreiber did a really good job with such an undercooked character. Like, he wasn't really all that threatening, but I did like the performance. Uh, I think, like, he's, like, high tier, high okay, low good. I think from the, perf based on just the performance, I'm going to have to say, like, low good. Uh, Thorax is better uh he's, he's he's good he's like mid like sort of close to the middle of the road good um this guy i don't know who he is but i'm sure he's fine so okay there you go uh then we have these two ponies that were in fame and misfortune i believe uh they helped with the moral and i like really like that episode so i'm just gonna say they were okay uh tree hugger she hugs trees she looks like she's high all the time but i think but i thought she was really funny so there you go. Uh, Trenderhoof. He tried to break, he tried to uh, pit uh, Rarity and Jumblejack against each other. So by virtue of that, he gets to go in the hate pile. Trixie, however, goes into the outstanding pile. Actually, like here. Yeah, she's pretty high up there. Fantastic all around. Even even in her, from her first appearance onwards, just a just a wonderful character. Um. Trouble Shoes, I believe. I wasn't a huge fan of the episode, so I didn't wasn't a huge fan of the character. So just bad. <laughs> Twilight. Mm. I, I like. I want to say good, but I also want to say okay. Like, like she she was like a character that was became less interesting as the series went on. Uh, like I started becoming more interested in the characters up here and definitely here. Um, and of course, she yelled at Pinkie Pie in the movie. Uh, I think like I think I'm just gonna go with just good, like m like mid to low good. I'm sure for others she's like up here, but I think for me she's just in the good good pile. Now her parents, they were fun. I did like them. I did like the Zeppelin episode that they were in. Because they seem so happy. So they're, they're higher in the good area. Uh, Vapor Trail. Uh, just by virtue of being cute, you get great. Uh, this guy, as much as I'm not a fan of Rainbow Dash, I also didn't like how he was trying to ruin her career for some stupid reason. So, hate. Uh, this is um, the daughter of the girl that P Cole Pants was dating. She is around here somewhere. Here she is. So I'm just going to put her right next to her mom. Yona. Yona is best yak. Yona is cutest yak. Yona is outstanding yak. And then we have Zakora. We're get, we're down to the last three. So Zakora, um, I did like her. I think I actually want to put her. I actually am going to put her in great. It's just, it was just a shame that we didn't really get a lot of her as the series went on. It's like, but the the appearances that she made were really good, uh, and I would have liked it if the series went into her background and where she came from. The comics do, but the show didn't, and I found that very unfortunate. Uh, now we have Zephyr Breeze. I don't know. I, I actually thought he was good. Um, he was, as much as I kind of ragged on him 
in some of the videos he did. I think deep down, I think he was a fun character, and he did he he he, he does care about Fluttershy. So it's like, like even though he's kind of, he's kind of a creep, a creep towards Rainbow Dash, he is he did seem like a, a fine an all right brother. So, and I, and I, I do I, I I think his antics did make me chuckle more than they didn't. So good. And now for this random pony, um, I think it was like the food critic pony. Uh, but bad, I don't like her. So, you know, it's kind of an underwhelming finish to to this tier list because like we started off like, oh my god, and then also we get to just random snooty pony to cap things off. Uh, so yeah, that's that is my that is the tier list. That is everything. That is all 156 characters and probably a little bit over 40 minutes or so. So jeez, jeez. Um. So, what do you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you want me to do another tier list of something? If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want if you want to see more of this. So, um, I did. I personally had fun. It was actually really fun doing all this. It was exhausting because I had to talk, had to talk nonstop. But, um, but anyway, I uh, hope you all have a good day and stay safe and stay wonderful. <laughs>